All right, so Razer is launching this new gaming mouse. This is the Razer Viper, and I'm shooting this four days before they actually have their announcement or launch of the product. So I'm gonna open it up, do a quick kind of product profile of it, and then properly test it out and add it to the tail end of this video. Uh, I don't think that the retail box will be this. This is a pretty chintzy looking uh, cardboard box, but that's what we have here. I think this is just like an engineering sample. They have a picture of the of the international, like the Dota tournament. Clearly, it's an esports mouse. So, what makes an esports mouse? What is an esports mouse? Well, for one, it's used in competitive gaming where you're trying to just outdo your opponent and potentially win three million dollars, like that six-year-old kid did in Fortnite a couple days ago. Okay, this is super light. I've handled a lot of razor mice. This thing actually feels almost like fake or like a toy. Like it's just so much lighter than any other Razer mouse that I've used. Not that Razer's mice are super heavy, but they never really focused on weight. This is clearly, like I like light mice and that's why the mouse that I use is like, it's a lighter mouse. This is a 80 gram, uh, the G Pro, the G Pro Wireless from Logitech. This is 80 grams. I feel like this is, I mean, this is distinctly lighter. This is 69 grams, is that right? 69 grams. So it's, it's light. Now compared to any other Razer mouse before, seriously, it almost feels like, it feels weird. Okay, another thing I'm noticing, this is an ambidextrous mouse. Right off the rip, not a lot of Razer mice are ambidextrous. They have a couple, I think the Lancehead was one of them. But this one, this is their Death Adder. Super popular mouse, very common amongst professional esports guys. Uh, I mean, it's a very, it's a different look. It's a different everything. It's like, um, I don't think it's meant to replace the Death Adder, it's just, to sit alongside with the Death Adder as a kind of different shape for people that don't like the Death Adder. So other features that they're marketing on this thing, number one is the cable. It's supposed to be this, I forget what they're calling it, hyper fast cable, I'm sure, but it's made of a different material. It is, you can feel it right away. It's almost like, a, if I had to describe it, it's kind of like a, like a swimsuit material, like super slick. So if you've used, any kind of braided cable mouse before. If you use it long enough, what inevitably happens with every single one of them is that they they fray, like they get this, like, I don't know. And this is not, you know, this is a Steel Series Kinzu version two. This like fraying, I don't know if this camera's picking it up, but it is very common. You see it on basically every other cabled mouse, braided cabled mouse, if you've used it for long enough. And it's just a gross, I mean, it just looks bad. But not that it affects performance, but it does get frayed. This new material is supposed to prevent that. Um, I can't tell yet, but it does feel different and it does feel kind of like slicker than the regular braided cable. But the main feature that this mouse has is an optical switch on both of the mouse buttons. So we've seen optical switch technology on Razer's keyboards and stuff like that. And they've implemented something similar to that in these buttons. And the idea is that by using a light sensor to detect whether the switch is activated or not, you get rid of any kind of analog latency. So in theory, this should be a very fast click, like your computer will detect it right away instead of having whatever supposed latency there is with a traditional mouse switch. Now, I don't like, I haven't been able to test this obviously, I personally don't know how much faster these buttons can get because I've never really felt like my button click was, you know, that the latency was causing me to perform poorly in games, but maybe that's a thing. I'll have to test that out in a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna plug this up real quick because I'm curious to see what the lighting looks like. I can't see it, it's so far. Okay. Uh, oh, lights up on the bottom. There's no lights on the top. I thought it would just, I thought there'd be a glow on the top, but that's it. You got your, your uh, DPI selector light, but it's just this, it's just the back. Okay, how does it feel? It's kind of like, it's an ambidextrous mouse. I like those, I like the symmetrical mice. Hope I'm not just like randomly clicking stuff on my computer. I totally am, I can see the icons moving around. Um, it feels good in terms of its shape. Right mouse buttons. The right mouse buttons are a little higher than I like. I like them lower, but that's a preference thing. Another thing I'm noticing, they have rubber on the sides of the mouse. So oftentimes when you have really light, like weight focused mice, like the final mouse and the O mouse, 
they have like they just have this pure plastic shell sometimes like a perforated skeleton of a shell to keep the weight down and rubber is not a material that you often see in ultralight mice but this is nice yeah feels good okay i'm going to test this thing out more thoroughly and be back with a more extensive discussion on how this thing performs in games Okay, so I've been using the Razer Viper for three days at this point, and bottom line, I really like this mouse. I thought I would like it because everything about it is stuff that I have preference for, like the weight, the shape, the sensor, like everything's good on it. Uh, the weight is something I want to talk about a little bit further. Maybe I'm just used to a lot of heavier Razer mice. Like three days later, I'm still picking this up and it just feels unexpectedly light. It's not like the lightest mouse in the world. I'm not saying that, but it's for a Razer branded mouse, it just feels different. I think if you're a user of Razer mice, you will notice the same, but if you have preference for light mice, you'll probably like this. Uh, the shape of it also, like I like the symmetrical look. Now maybe it's because I grew up on ambidextrous mice. Like I just have a strong preference for mice that are not shaped to one hand or the other. I like a mouse like this. One thing I was a little bit concerned about, because this is such a light mouse compared to Razer's other mice, I don't know about long-term durability. I mean, it is a lighter mouse, so there's less material in this thing, and maybe some of that material is built for structure and support. So if you drop this thing 500 times, it might not last as long as like a regular Razer mouse that's been dropped 500 times as well. I can't tell, but I do like the look feel and shape of this mouse. In terms of gaming performance, the game that I played the most of with this mouse was Overwatch. It's still my favorite game. And I play a character called Ana who's got kind of like a sleep dart ability. So you gotta lead the shot, but you have to have decent aim with that shot. And I wouldn't say I was hitting or missing shots any better or worse than I would with my regular mouse, but I just felt really comfortable on this mouse. It's by far my favorite Razer mouse right now, mostly because of its shape and its weight, not because of its other features. So speaking of those other features, it's big thing that they're marketing right now is the optical switch they have for the two mouse buttons. The idea of it is cool. There's no debounce delay, it uses lasers and stuff, and the lifetime durability of those switches is supposed to be a lot longer than a regular analog switch, but I didn't notice that much of a difference in gameplay and in just like reaction tests that I just did on a website. I ran the test over and over between two different mice to switch between the Lance Head and the Viper and the Lance Head and the Viper just back and forth, back and forth for like 20 minutes, and there was no real difference between the two. Now it could just be me, the user, or the internet connection, but whatever the reason, I really couldn't distinguish between the two in terms of how quick the mouse click latency was. Uh, the sensor uses the standard Razer high-end sensor, the 5G optical. Great sensor, well-reviewed. There's nothing really to complain about that sensor. It's based off the PMW3389, and I think most people will really like this sensor. Uh, the cable uses that SpeedFlex cable not the hyper whatever I thought it was in the earlier. Uh, it's a cool technology, the idea of it is neat, but again, I'm not noticing much of a difference between this cable and even like a regular braided cable. I think that's just, I don't wanna use the term gimmick, but it's a gimmick, I think. I don't think it hurts, right? Having a smoother material can't hurt the mouse, but I don't think it really provides that much for the average gamer. Maybe in that like one scenario where you're just trying to do a flick shot and it drags a little bit, it might, maybe, but I think for most people, the cable is not going to be a thing that makes or breaks your gaming. They also have some other features, like you have some programmable buttons and you can control the lighting in Razer software, but the main kind of feature of this mouse to me, and I think for most people looking at this thing, is its weight. And I think Razer did a great job with it. Razer has not had a light mouse that's great for like FPS shooters with a good sensor and good like overall package for a really long time. I think the last one they had was I think like 2013 or something like that. Not a great sensor. This is a really good mouse and it's something that FPS competitive gamers really like, like a lightweight, high quality sensor mouse and this is it. Now if you're someone who didn't like Razer's death outer shape and you want something lightweight, I think this is a good fit. It is not cheap though, it's 80 bucks. Like, not that it's super expensive, but there are a lot of other mice out there that are similar in performance that are cheaper. But if you like the whole Razer brand and you wanna do the whole Razer thing, this is a good option. But just keep in mind, the lightweight nature of this mouse is really where it's at. All the other stuff, like the optical switches, the hyper flex cable, speed flex cable, 
I'll get that name right one day. But the Speedflex cable, it's all gravy. It's just the, the weight is what they nailed. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it. Subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.